What's going on you guys? You got Shempy and I'm bringing you this NCAA 12 football video. The first one since the demo came out. Um, we've got this road to glory starting up. I'm using a quarterback once again this year named Gunner Gaines. Now I decided to go quarterback once again just because I think that uh, it's the most fun to watch. There's the most you can do with it and they're kind of the leaders on the field able to change the plays. Um, secondary position is middle linebacker, so here in high school you're going to see a little bit of that. And obviously this guy is going to football high school in Alaska. The man-eaters, much like Shane Falco, they are just putting out the quarterback recruits like no one has ever seen before. But hopefully with this pocket passer I can refine some of my skills and uh, Try to stay in the pocket a little better than I did with Falco, and he's a 6'4", 218-pound kind of player. He's got to be pretty big. He's not going to be real fleet-footed like Falco was, but able to escape the pocket at least a little bit. And uh, baby got back, if you know what I'm saying. He has got a fine hiney, and uh, that's going to help him a little bit in planting and chucking the ball downfield. Let's be honest. But I'm really looking forward to the game this year and how they changed it up. It's definitely going to take a little bit of time to adjust, especially with the zone coverage system being revamped and changed. I've only played it a little bit, but so far I've had a lot of trouble trying to pick that apart. There's a new helmet, that Ion, um, but I'm just going to stick with the Rebel Speed this year, or uh, right now I guess I should say. I may change some of these things later on in the future when I go to my actual team and figure out what color scheme I'm going to be using. But that is still up in the air. Um, I've got some offers going on right now and some teams that I want to go to. But I'm not really sure. I'm not set on where I want to go. So um, obviously write that in the comments if you have anywhere you think a pocket passer would do really well. Now don't throw out teams that are pure spread offense, scrambling quarterback, because I'm not going to do well there, much like... Uh, Oregon team last year, but we'll get this started playing this first game trying to get the running back a little more involved Last year the running backs were just terrible I had one of the best running backs in the nation in LaMichael James on my college football team And he was just really bad So hopefully they fix that a little bit and uh, that has a lot to do with the computer AI I'm throwing to him out of the backfield a little bit and just trying to adjust to the coverages and Basically everything that's going on I'm looking downfield finding my man Right on the money, and this is what you're going to get a little bit more as a pocket passer. I'm going to take a lot more risks downfield and try to squeeze the ball in a little bit more. Obviously, early on, this is something I'm going to need to work on because, you know, I don't necessarily have the attributes quite yet. But when I get there, I'm definitely going to go for some arm power and hopefully developing the accuracy a little bit later. Uh, one thing I notice is you see me running a slant route right there. Um, back in 2011, it seemed like the slant routes were really, you throw it early right when they make the cut. And now, with the zone coverage the way it is, you have to wait for the route to develop a little bit more, which is kind of interesting, a little bit different, as you see my man drop the ball in the end zone there. Come away with a field goal, though, and we will continue trying to work this game. See the outside linebacker on the blitz and get it to my man in space. He's just running a simple curl route, but it's easy to... Uh, Get around that play when we have the linebacker blitzing and not staying in his area. But you'll see I'm not making a lot of my passes right now, especially the ones downfield. And that's just attributed to, you know, I don't have the attributes quite yet. But getting the screenplay open, you'll see I dropped back and opened up a little bit. Ran backwards to try to just get out of the way of the offensive and defensive linemen as they um, run to make their blocks downfield. But I'm doing okay so far. I'm playing on All-American, but that is subject to change. I still see a lot of... I don't know if it's just because I'm adjusting to the game or if it's just things that they haven't quite fixed. But there's a lot of ridiculous plays, especially made out of the linebackers in pass coverage. Um, we saw that a little bit more, a little bit last year, but I'm seeing it even more and even more ridiculous this year. And I've read it on a couple of forms that... Uh, a lot of people are encountering these same problems. As you see, I thread the needle right here on that slant round a little longer than uh, normal, but you'll see a couple of defensive plays here. As I try to get in there, stuff the running back. I'm playing middle linebacker, as you saw earlier in the video. Now, I don't expect to make too many huge plays on defense, but it's a fun little change up here in high school. Um, being able to play a couple of positions and makes the game a little more interesting. Obviously in college, you don't see a lot of two position players 
Um, but there are some, Charles Woodson being one of the best. He didn't play a lot of wide receiver, but he played some, and he was a game changer when he got in the game. But as you can see, I miss that guy wide open running down the sideline, and another guy, I actually hit him, but he dropped the ball. So it's not easy going, um, playing in high school here, you've got some receivers that drop a lot of balls, and once again, stuffing this running back. I don't make a lot of amazing plays on defense, but when I do, you'll be sure to see them. Um, <laughs> getting picked up on the block a little bit right there, that's something I've run into quite a bit. Um, getting picked up on these blocks, and trying to time the snap count a little bit, not doing a great job, but still tr trying to provide a little bit of pressure and bringing up the fourth down. And clearly we still gotta get this running back a little more involved. Um, something I want to do a little bit more this year, especially in a pro-style offense. You have to develop the run a little bit if you're going to be successful. And just an amazing play right here by this wide receiver. He has a vast majority of my catches, and most of them go for quite a few yards, especially after the catch. So I'd love to have a guy like that on my team when I get to college, and it would be awesome to get an offensive line that can uh, hold the bend, hold the defensive line, and at least give me a little bit of time to let the plays develop and let the routes develop because it seems like that's going to be a really big deal in this game with the way that uh, zone coverages have been working so far for me. Um, it's another thing I've been noticing is it's as much attributed to when the receiver makes the cut as the, um, the position of the defense, which is a little bit different from last year because last year it was almost all playing the defense, trying to figure out what they were doing and getting them out of position. But I've only had this game for a few days, and i got to admit I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's great to see football, football games that change up their uh, play style a little bit. In the past, we've seen a lot of games, and <coughs> Madden, that don't change up the game at all. And you're basically buying an expensive roster update when you buy a $60 game, and that's not something that you want to do. It's not something you want to invest in. So even though there are a lot of problems with this game still... Um, with the zone coverage and as I've said before maybe this is just a small adjustment period that I'm going through but it's great to change up the gameplay a little bit and change up how you have to approach the game and that's something that 2k has done very well in their games so far on a year-to-year -year basis the games play a little differently and it makes it fun just trying to relearn it and get back into the game modes um, that said having a pretty decent game here I think this is my second high school game. I'm probably not going to show that many high school games, maybe a few more, and when I get to the playoffs. But I'd love to get that five-star rating and get a little bit of an attribute boost. Attribute boost, wow, that was hard to say. When I enter the actual college football realm. But as you can see once again, uh, making throws that Shane Falco couldn't make last year, and that's... What I'm hoping to see um, a lot is hitting these receivers in stride and hit, making sure that they can do a little bit with the ball after the catch because when Falco would throw, the guy, receivers would have to stop even when he was a 99 overall. Now it's still in high school here and you'll see a lot of players hover around the 50 percentage um, completion rate mark. That's somewhere I wanted to be highly above, but playing here on All-American, I haven't been able to breach that very easily. Um, I'm often throwing about 60-65% a game, which isn't an unrealistic number, but having thrown, I don't remember what it was, I think 80% completion rate in high school with Falco, it's a little bit different. I'm not sure if that's something they did on purpose, or it's just, I'm not sure how to play this game quite yet, but it's something I can certainly improve on and hope to improve on. As you see me making a few plays here on defense, forcing the third and one. They're in the hurry-up offense a little bit. Um, looks like we're going to come up, come away with this game. It's only a couple minutes left, and we're up by 21. You know I want to pad these stats a little bit here in high school, though. Make sure I get the, all of the college offers that I want, because that's something they're doing a little bit differently also. Um, you actually have to earn your offers instead of sort of picking your school um, at the end of your high school season. But from my experience so far, the offers aren't too hard to come by, so I will have my pick of a few schools by the end of it. If you have a school you'd like to see me go to, just write it in the comments, and I will see what I can do, and hopefully I can get an offer from them and at least get an eye. But uh, Slim Pickens here in Alaska, hoping to be the number one recruit in Alaska, which uh, wouldn't be too difficult, but it would be nice to see. 
I wanted to come away with an extra touchdown here at the end, but looks like that's not going to happen. I'm just hurting my completion percentage as I try to bullet it in there in the fourth quarter. But a few more defensive plays will certainly not hurt the scholarship stock, I guess I should call it. I haven't played a whole lot of defense, and one piece of beef I have with playing defense is the terrible camera angles. If you run up close to the ball, the camera gets really wacky and it's hard to play with, and especially on the passes, you have very little perspective on where the ball is actually going. Um, earlier this game, I missed a ball completely that I was in really good um, position to intercept. But maybe that's something I'll try a little bit uh, after this quarterback and in the future. Because the defense can be a lot of fun and it's changing games on the defensive end. But as you see in my stats here, I'm through under 50%, but had over 300 yards and three passing touchdowns. So that's not too terrible for a high school pocket passing quarterback. And 11 tackles on defense, not too shabby. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. See ya!